Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, my name is Donna, and for those of you not new, thank you so much for continuing to come and join me and support me and watch my videos. Today is yet another video in my Palette Roulette series, and today we will be going over the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Bling Boss Palette. This is what it looks like on the outside. I love this palette. In this confetti, there is all kinds of little purple flecks in it, which kind of gives you an idea of what's on the inside. I had a lot of fun with this palette this week, but neglected to get some pictures of much. So I think I have maybe three looks for y'all. I think that also includes this one that I'm currently wearing today, which might actually be my favorite of all the ones that I produced this week. I was out of town using this and it's just, I want to play. I want to play with it so much and I just didn't. I got two really, really good eye looks out of it though for, cer for certain not including this one. So I do have pictures of this one too I'll put in so that you guys can see an up close version since I don't really like getting you super close to my face in the videos. <laughs> so with that being said, my throat still hurts. I'm still a little bit sick, but I am on the mend. So if I get a little cracky, super sorry about that. For those of you who don't know anything about my palette roulette series, I'm going to go ahead and link video number one up in the cards for you so that you can go in and check out what these videos are all about and I also have all the information down in my description box. So with that let's get started. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Bling Boss palette. It is one of the four palettes that were in the Jaclyn Hill Morphe vault. I do have all four palettes, but I did not buy them in the vault, so to speak. I bought them all from Ulta so I could earn points on them as well as purchase them. So I didn't get the, I think it was $15 off if you bought all four at the same time. I did buy all four at the same time, but again, I purchased from Ulta. So I don't really like Morphe's customer service, if I'm being honest. This is what the palette looks like on the outside. It is just this beautiful... I know that this had some controversy between it and Becca and then it also on the back just has the basic thing on it where it says that it's an eyeshadow palette, tells you that it's 16 grams of product or 0.56 ounces and there are 10 shades in here so each one of these is a little over 0.05 ounces, right? Yeah. It also has at Morphe brushes and hashtag Morphe babe. Mine is V2 and there is no sticker on it. I, I know that that has also had some controversy over it, but there's no sticker on top of mine. I really have to say I love this palette. This is what it looks like on the inside. It, it, it does have a nice mirror and then these are the shades. In this palette I think that they are beautiful I love every single one of them if I am to be honest with you they all had incredible color payoff I didn't struggle with the shimmers in this palette at all I didn't have to wet them this is my like crease color almost on a daily it's just a beautiful neutral tone to my my skin tone and it just has enough pigmentation that you can see it but not so much that I have to be super delicate and careful with it and all of these shadows are super buttery soft even the shimmers which I found to be outstanding because a lot of Morphe shimmers that I touch are just not they're just not super buttery soft and easy to work with these all are uh, this purple is a beautiful, like, royal purple that could swing blue or purple, depending on how your eye look goes. I've got a red eye look today when most of the colors in here are very, like, violent, violent, <laughs> violet oriented. And I just found it to be really versatile, to be honest. I wore this color in my brow bone almost every day. This one is called Bling Bling, and it's just a really pretty, super sweet, like, light pink 
shimmer color. This one is a little more champagne-y and this one is a little more pink. This one, of course, is a vibrant red, but those in and the purple are the four like shimmer shimmers this black here has a lot of I think you guys can see it more on the camera as a purple it does have a lot of purple glitter in it but that purple glitter doesn't really transform on your eyes like a purple would to be honest it is in my eye look today and it just looks black if I'm being real uh, it does look just black the purple glitter doesn't really stay so it's not my favorite color as a matter of fact it kind of ruined more eye looks than it helped if I'm being honest not my favorite one in the palette but I just love all of these shades and I know that with 10 shadows in here I could pull this palette out and not be overwhelmed I could definitely see what kind of color story I was working with and what kind of colors immediately I was going to work with just by opening it up and looking at it. It was definitely an easy palette to use and it travels quite nicely. I love that there were so many different ways that I could go with this palette as I was traveling. So it's a wonderful palette to travel with. So with that, let's go into the swatches of the colors for you. I do have all 10 of them swatched on my arm. I am not the best swatcher. We all know that. I might have to take a picture <laughs> and slide it in here for you guys. But we're going to try it. This is the first shade here. It is bling bling. It is the color that I told you that I put into my brow bone almost on a daily. It is in my brow bone today and it is just an amazing shimmer color. Really light and airy and pretty. This next one here is called Hush Hush. It is kind of a mauve toned like neutral shadow. It is really beautiful. This is built up. I did swatch this twice over each other so this is kind of built up so that you guys can see it otherwise it, it really really meshes with my skin tone this one here is called gem it is a really shimmery dark royal purple color it could lean both blue or purple dependent on what colors you are putting on the rest of your eye this one here is called pizzazz it is a beautiful coppery um orange shimmer color it's so pretty it is also in my eye look today this one here is called Mystic. I use this a lot to deepen up any crease. It is a beautiful like burgundy matte color. It's just so, so, so pretty. This next one here is called Sparks. It is a beautiful matte like rusty red color. It's just really pretty. This next one here is called Glitz and Glam. It is kind of more of a champagne-y uh, shimmer color and I loved it. In one of the eye looks I have, I believe this is the color that is on my lid. It is just so pretty. This next one here is called Rockstar. It is a really pretty, like a vi really deep violet color. It is a matte and I loved it for deepening my outer V. This color here is called Ballsy and it is a really pretty, like, oh, like, <clears throat> almost like a pink diamond color shimmer. It is just, Ooh. It is just a super, super pretty shimmer color, although I would not put it into my crease or my, my brow bone. It is quite a bit more pigmented than I like my brow bone color to be. And then this color here is the Berry Treasure that you see here looking a lot more purple than it actually looks in real life. It does have quite a bit of glitter to it that makes it look more purple in the pan but once you once you get it on your skin you guys can see hopefully on here it does just it does just look black the purple shimmer is in there but it really doesn't stay on your eyeballs very well um I really did have a lot of fun with this palette and I honestly it was the first time I had picked it up I'm honestly because I use it I'm not a huge Morphe fan I think I've said that before but because I picked it up and really enjoyed it every single time I used it it just sparked joy with me every single time I picked it up 
I really am interested in getting the other three of them out and really just digging into them and playing with them because I also haven't played with them. I was actually pretty shocked. I'm not not a huge Morphe fan, but I did love this palette. If they're if you are into say the Lila palette but can't afford it or I think that ColourPop has a couple purple ones out there right now that are also pretty good, but they're nine pans. This has one extra pan. It's roughly the same price, and it's just great quality shadows. These are pretty great shadows, and that is coming from somebody who isn't enamored by Morphe. I, I really could take them or leave them, to be honest. I did find that these shadows work much better if you put a primer on underneath them. Uh, if you don't use a primer underneath them, they do tend to wear away about two to three hours into your day, which I didn't like about them. I do have, you know, less expensive brands that don't do that. So that was kind of like a non a non-happy moment for me. Not unhappy necessarily, but not necessarily super happy about what my eyes looked like three hours into my day because I forgot to put my primer on. Again, that's my fault, but if I'm being honest, I have really gotten out of the habit of using eye primers a lot because I have such amazing shadows that work well with or without a primer. So I just know that if I'm going to use these palettes, I definitely have to put a primer on underneath. They don't have the longevity that a lot of my other shadows do with or without a primer. They do with, they do not without. Uh, without a primer, they just want to kind of wipe, wipe off your eyes. <laughs> um, I also found that the pigmentation on these is right up there with you know, my Sydney Gray shadows, which I love so much. It's actually right up there with some of my more high-end shadows that I love so much. Definitely gives, you know, uh, some some kind of run for ColourPop's money. They aren't probably as pigmented as, say, my Juvia's Place. If you guys are familiar with Juvia's Place, they definitely aren't as pigmented as that, but I did find them a... I did find them a joy to work with. I did have a lot of fun with this palette and it makes me anxious to dig into some of my other palettes. I am going to take that palette off of my Decide Now app real quick. Okay, so I took that palette off of my Decide Now app. For those of you unfamiliar, I do use a like Wheel of Fortune type app to pick the palettes for me that I'm going to use for next week and then I I put all my palettes in here. I did take out all the ones that we've done a palette roulette series on already. And then the next step is just to push the button and spin the wheel. All right, it has my Smashbox double exposure palette. Let me go get that one real quick, like. All right, guys, this is the palette that I will be using next week. Funny story, this is probably the second oldest palette in my collection. I've had this guy around for a very, a very long time, and this is what the colors look like. Not really my cup of tea, but that's okay. I have lots of single shadows that I can pair with a lot of these colors. I remember when I purchased this palette, I purchased it because it had this, like, wow factor to it. So each of these shades could be something completely different if they were wet. <laughs> Knowing now that you can wet any shadow and it be completely transformed, I probably would have never dipped into this palette or purchased it, but I'm excited to use it again, bring it up on top of the vanity, get some use out of it again, and see what I think of it next week at the end of the week because I don't think I've used this palette in at least a year. And that's sad to me considering it was one of my very first palettes. 
Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really hope that you had a good time. I really hope that you're enjoying this series. Let me know down in the comment section if you're doing this series too, what palette you used last week and which one you'll be using next week. I really enjoy hearing from you guys in the comment section. I hope that you guys like this video enough that you're considering giving me a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out here. I also hope that you're liking this video. I'm sweating to death, it's so hot in here. Can you guys see the sweat just rolling off of me? I hope that you also like this video enough or me enough that you're considering subscribing to my channel. I would really love to see you down in the comments section and welcome you into my warm, fun living family here. And I do post content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so be sure to hit that bell so that you're aware when I'm uploading. I guess I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday or Sunday, dependent on how my work week goes. It is typically, very typically, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, though. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day, and it will continue into your week this week. And until next time, guys, bye. This one here is called Gem. It is a really nice, shimmery, gold. Good grief.